OK. Yes, please. Tak, Zostawiamy państwu yes, Nadię Hilker, Dawida Muszyńskiego. E, ja mam prośbę jedną do państwa. Tutaj stoi taki przystojny gentleman w białej koszuli z mikrofonem. Jeśli chcecie zadać pytanie, to już się za nim ustawcie, żebyśmy wiedzieli, ile jest chętnych, żebyśmy wiedzieli, w jakiej kolejności, żebyśmy nie musieli biegać tutaj po, e, po widowni. Dobrze? Dziękuję. Hello, Nadia. Hi. Hey, how are you? Very good. How are you? Cool. I'm, I'm good. I just had lunch. It was tasty. <laughs> Guten Morgen. Guten Mittag. Mittag. Guten, Guten Mittag, Mittag, yeah. Uh, tell me, the 100s, how they received the role? How was it uh, for you? The casting was hard or...? Um, boring, boring answer. I, um, I didn't really have to audition for the part, which was crazy. So the casting director sent Jason Rothenberg, the creator of the show, a tape of mine. So who do you know that they came to you and say, we want you? Well, the casting director was. She was like, I, I have the perfect girl for Luna. She sent Jason a tape of mine, and then Jason wanted to meet me. And I think my hair, I walked into his office and I had this big hair, and I think that's when he knew that I was Luna. So you're a girl with connections. Yes, exactly. <laughs> that's good in the line of business. And uh, did you know what part do they want to give you, or did you know the show before? No, I haven't. I mean, I heard about the show, but I've never seen it. Um, and I only heard badass, and I love badass characters. So I was like, yeah, sign me up. I want to do it. Yeah. And you really didn't have to change your hair for this one. Well, exactly. It's my hair, which is pretty cool. I I didn't take a lot, like a lot of time in hair and makeup. I was done within. 30 minutes, yeah. Okay, tell me, how did you react uh, on the last episode when you received the script and you saw how the conclave will end to, for well, you? Well, Jason called me beforehand. He was like, um, Nadia... Um, I'm sorry, Nadia. I'm sorry, Nadia. You don't get a picture today. I was happy. You were happy that they will kill you? Yeah. Why? Because I think Luna should... Okay, so the whole deal about Luna is that she doesn't like the world she's living in. She doesn't like hu humanity. And she was, fighting, she was fighting against humanity. Then she, you know, had peace on her own little island. And then she, they broke her. And I think for Luna to be authentic, like, she had to fight. And she had, like, it, it just had to happen. She had to die. But in such a way, for real? I mean, didn't you like to I have didn't, I didn't like the way. I didn't like the way she died. Because, I mean, she is like the most badass, strongest warrior in that world. I think she shouldn't have just, you know... It was a coward's death, actually. Somebody stuck you in the back. It wasn't a fighter's well, death. Well, no, not really. I mean, she was standing in front of a cupboard and just got, like, stabbed. She just... There was, like, no fight scene beforehand, thank God. But... It was a very non-tragic death, unfortunately. But um, I think Luna was a great addition to the 100. Um, but rest in peace. And um, Now you rest, say rest in peace before you said maybe I will come back. Well, come yeah, on, what, for what's now, going on? <laughs> I'm just saying for now she's dead, but she might be back. Yeah, it's sci-fi, so you exactly, never know. Exactly, you never know. Uh, how many times did you shoot the death scene to make it right? So the death scene was pretty easy to shoot, but the fight scene before that, like the, you know, with Octavia and Rowan, um, that took 12 hours, 10 hours. 12 hours. Yeah, and I remember that was the night when Trump became the president of the United States. <laughs> that was a very dark, very dark moment in history, unfortunately. And that made me actually really mad, so it helped me, you know, killing the king. I hope nobody... Do you guys like Rowan? I'm sorry then. I'm really sorry that I had to kill him. Hey, they came for you. They love you. You don't have to apologize. I love you guys. Thank you so much for coming. I really appreciate every one of you. Thank you so much. And tell me, you do your own stunts? Or do you have a double who's... Yes. I mean, that was crazy because um, the, the fight scene, I think I rehearsed for about 10 hours. Um, and I had someone... Um, to, you know, who could fill in for me, but I did most of it by myself. Um, and it's so much fun. I mean, fight scenes are like dancing. It's a choreography and you just learn it and you do it all over again. And then one day it's... How many times did you do a mistake and actually punch somebody? 
Not, not intentionally. No, but the thing is, in when you rehearse fight scenes, you always, like I had swords, and they were made out of wood. And then when we did the actual fight scenes, we got real, like, real swords. Real, real? Yeah, like real? metal swords. Whoa. And then Rowan, Zach, hit me with the metal sword. And my, bastard. My, I know, such a bastard, right? And then my thumb was bleeding, and, but nobody gave a shh. I mean, they were like, oh, stop yeah. crying. Thought Less you fake warrior. blood for you, then. You have your own, so Exactly, you know. exactly. But no, I, nobody ever hit anyone. I think there was once something happened to... Um, uh, great, I don't know her name. Uh, Octavia. Marie, I think she... Something stuck in her eye. She got something into her eye, I think. That was... Okay, I think I shouldn't tell that. I think I your show is... Very dangerous for actors. Very Come brutal, on. it is. It's very, very dark and bloody and brutal and fun. And <laughs> fun, yeah. How did you actually found the, the set? Because it's very futuristic, you it's know? It's great. I mean, I love the outdoors. The, the scenery is insanely beautiful. Where We're did you shoot? In Canada, um, around Vancouver. And it's so, I mean, you guys seen the show, like the outsides, the mountains and the forests and it's the rivers and it's, it's so beautiful, the ocean. And then we have the studio like 40 minutes outside of Vancouver and it's crazy. Like um, the lab where we shot in, we, there was one time when Richard, Such and Eliza, Lindsay, we all were in that lab and um, the lights were so intense and we were shooting in there for like 14 hours a day we all kind of got crazy because the lighting was this triple. Like it was. Isn't it cuckoo. the same studio where they shoot Supernatural in Vancouver? Um, no, I, I know that. Um, no, I'm no. I hope no. you maybe switch the shows, you know, to another one. Yeah, you could definitely do that. I mean, everything is in walking distance. Yeah, you see all the sets, and you could just walk to another set and be like, hey. Can I play in this one? But they probably wouldn't want you. No, they'd be like, no, get off the ground, leave, leave, go, go. So I know probably if I ask you what will you miss about the show, you will say the people and stuff. But I ask you to give the You're honest so cool. answer, not Such the people. <laughs> um, okay, I will miss the people so much. <laughs> I'm gonna miss Eliza and Richard and... No, I'm gonna miss... Um, I love getting up really early. I love working. I love working with people I love. And I'm going to miss the stunts and the fighting. And um, Because you have to be fit all the time to, to do those things. Yeah, you definitely want to... You definitely need sleep, a lot of sleep. And I mean, it's crazy on the 100. I don't know how Eliza does it or the rest of the cast, but... I would go up there for like three weeks and then for three weeks I would get up every day at 4 a.m. in the morning and then by the time you're back in your hotel room and you always have to shower, right? Because you're always like blood all over your face and dirt and everything. Um, I think by the time I was in bed, it was always around 11-ish. And so every night I have like five hours of sleep and, um, and I did this like for six months you know, a couple of weeks and then go back home and then come back to Vancouver. But Eliza and the rest of they're like doing it six months out of a year straight. And I have a lot of respect for that. I have so much respect for that. So yeah, they're actually badass. When I was talking to the cast of uh, The Walking Dead, they told me that they have so much shooting as you guys. So sometimes they forget about the makeup, everything that they have, the blood and stuff, and they go for the groceries going oh, home. Oh, I did that. I did that once. After my big um, battle scene with Octavia and Roan, I walked into a supermarket and I forgot. And there was like blood all over my face and my hands and I was like dirty. And I swear to God, people thought I was a homeless junkie because I wasn't, I wasn't in costume. I was just wearing like, you know, like trainers and big sweaters and my hair was all greasy and disgusting and people were they like stepped away and were like what the fuck she's 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 a mess and, and then i figured i was like why they're staring and then was like oh yeah so they came to you like do you need some change or the security no, guard not please even, go not away even. they didn't even want to talk to me like they thought i'm gonna just bite them and they're gonna be sick because Would i have you? diseases 
maybe. <laughs> I mean, it depends on my state of being. <laughs> and mm, tell me, uh, after this show, you had the, the, the very big uh, movie franchise that we were talking about. That was before. Yes. Yes. And uh, as we said behind the stage, this movie is all still in the developing. Yeah. And Have you guys seen Divergent? Yes? Okay, you guys not so much, huh? <laughs> Have you seen Divergent? Yes? Okay. Um, yeah, so I was asked whether there was going to be the fourth part, and we still don't know. They, wanna, they once discussed about, you know, doing a TV show. Now they're talking again about doing the fourth part. Like, so the project, it's not dead. It's still alive, but it's not developing. Dead. It's not dead, but maybe it is, maybe it's not. Hollywood is a fun... Because I, I wanted to ask you about working with Naomi Watts. Uh, how is she? Uh, I mean, I never had a scene with Naomi, but I watched her. I made myself go to set every day when she was working in Jeff Daniels because they're such talented actors. But um, I think, I mean, they are insanely nice people, um, grounded, very smart, funny. Um, but when you saw them actually, you know, walking next to you, uh, did you have it's this crazy. Uh, start, the start the strike, you know, like, yeah. Oh, not, I mean, the thing is, when you're working with those people, I don't put anyone above or below me. They're my colleagues, and I don't really care who you are. Um, I think with Meryl Streep, it would take me a bit longer than anyone else. But even then, like, it's, so, it's... So you didn't come to Jeff and say, hey, when I was small, I saw you in Dumb and Dumber. I mean, I love Dumb and Dumber, and I, I like the shit scene is one of my favorite scenes in the world. Um, but no, when I actually, when I met Jeff, we were shaking hands, and I have always sweaty hands. Touch this. I mean, okay, touch this one. It's even worse. Okay, it's sweaty. It's so sweaty. Um, and we were shaking hands, and he was like, oh, you're sweaty, you're nervous. And I was like, no, 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 I always have sweaty hands. He was like, yeah, right. <laughs> and then he came back 10 minutes later, and I was like, here, touch it. I'm still sweaty. It's not you. I just sweat all day. Um, no, you wanted only to touch Jeff. You know that. Well, he was able to touch me. I think that's <laughs> even cooler than... Equalizer, touch then. Yeah. No, I'm even better to touch. And tell me, which of uh, those sci-fi productions did you like better? 100 or...? Oh, it's so different. I mean, Divergent is... I mean, $150 million was the budget of that movie, which is, there are not many movies made nowadays that have budget like that, a budget like that. So it was, in, like the sets, it was insanely big. Everything was, there was, yeah, it was insanely huge, big and, and expensive. Um, but I definitely, I mean, now we're talking about people again. On the 100, because their sets are not as big, the production is not as big as the Divergent, the crew and the actors actually hang out and talk and, you know, you have, it's, 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 you just, yeah, it's just more human. Whereas Divergent was so big and there were hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of people working at that film set that it's, you barely have a chance to actually, you know, get to know one another. Yeah, it's a very quick because you have the, uh very limited time to shoot a movie and yeah. probably no limit and time. And then also the difference is when you have less money, you have to work quicker, right? Like on Divergent, we could shoot a scene within hours, whereas the 100, you do a couple takes and you better get it done or you suck and they just kill you. Okay, so we now know why you, did, why you died. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly, I just suck. I suck. <laughs> Tell me, uh, do you like sci-fi? Because uh, both of those projects were in the same genre. So you like yeah. this or? Um, it's like food. I like everything. Or music. I like every music. I like every kind of food except those little fishes that are very intensively tasting. Um, but I love playing air but I think as an actor it's more fun to play a character that has wings and can fly and shoot people and not that I like killing people but as a character as hey, come on it's fun no I I, I, I really, saw you behind the stages it's fun no I really I'm a good girl I don't like killing or hurting people 
Um, but as, of course, like, you always want to play something that's the complete opposite of who you are. That's why I always play Warriors, because I'm a pussy. <laughs> there you have it. <laughs> Too many confessions in one panel, come on. <laughs> Leave some for out. And uh, you use here a uh, makeup language. Oh, yeah. Ooh, yeah. Tell me, how, how did they put it in your head? How did you memorize it? And uh, is it something that you have a book that you have to uh, learn everything? Or is freestyle? How does it work? I, I, I mean, it's probably one of the hardest things I've ever had to do in terms of my work. Um, what they do, they send you a recording of what you have to say. And then they also send you um, how it's written, but then how you pronounce it. And then I think it took me weeks to learn like two sentences because it's hard to learn something that doesn't exist, that doesn't make sense. And then I tried to like imagine it as a song, you know, like find, make up words that are like, sound like it and make up a story. But every time we were on set and I had to do that language, it, I ended up just doing, I was just saying anything and cracking up. Rah, 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 yeah, rah. basically. And then I always had to go into ADR and do it again in the studio. Yeah, but why they are so strict about it? It's only, you even have the subtitles, so you can say whatever you want and it exactly, doesn't matter. Exactly, you would think, right? Because I was like, they don't, I, like, nobody can tell whether it's, but actually that's not true. For real? No, because it's an actual language they made up. Really? There is a past form of like it's 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 it it's grammar, like it's a it's a full on language they made up. So you wanna tell me that if somebody will learn it they will no, use it and communicate fans, with it? There are a lot of fans who actually speak that language. They like because we there's so much of that in the show that whenever like they keep on saying the same words all over again. You know what I mean? There's like yes. an alphabet in that, in, in, like, in that language. I thought only fans of Star Trek are doing that with Klingon, no, but okay. Like if, if, they, if they make a mistake, like the fans go crazy and go like, that's bullshit, that's not, that's not correct. Really? Yeah, I don't think it ever happened, but it would happen if they would. So are you using this language sometimes oh, if you want to hide something? No, 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 no. Do you remember any sentence in that language? Yes, I remember, I give I up, okay, wow. Um, okay, oh, okay, now I feel being on the spot. Um, Gonvoda, gion up. Well, Gonvoda, so come down. Somebody understood. That. So, well, who, who understood that? Who was clapping right now? You were, yes! Don't be so shy, come on. Naprawdę nie macie żadnych pytań? Jesteście tego pewni? Nikt się nie ustawi za kolegą? Nie chcecie nie zapytać? Yeah, we have questions, come on! Yes! Przecież nie przyszliście, żeby mnie tutaj słuchać. Ok, first question. Co sądzisz o relacji w serialu Luny i jej Ray Raven? What do you think about the relationship between Luna and Raven? Oh, you guys are so sweet. <coughs> I wish we could have been something one day. And I wish we could have found out whether we could have been something one day. Um, and she's a very nice thing. And I'm like totally saying uh, the lines of a song right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can see that. I can say, what? Will she sing? <laughs> okay, next one. Did you, did, you, did you understand that? Yes? Okay, okay. Look at she, she's blushing, she's smiling, she's happy. Then I'm happy. Kto jest twoją ulubioną postacią oprócz Luny? Who's your favorite uh, character in 100? In the 100, Murphy. Murphy. Okay. Why? Give them some more, not because only a name. He's, he's a dirty street dog with the most beautiful heart and he is one of the best actors on this planet and he is so insanely smart and intelligent <laughs> and smart and funny. And, and intelligent <laughs> and smart. Um, yeah, and uh, yeah, his character is just very different from every other character in the show, so yeah. All right, thank you. Uh, hi, Nadia. It's fantastic to have you here. Thank uh, you so much. Yeah, uh, I have a question. Did the bunker survive Prime Fire? What was that? Did the bunker survive Prime Fire? Burned. Burned? No, he's talking in the language that I don't understand. Oh! <laughs> oh my God, can you say that again? Yeah, did the bunker survive Prime Fire? 
Okay, what does that mean? <laughs> I was like, oh yeah, yeah, what does it mean? Yeah, we've, we've got the bunker, yes? We've survivors. Oh, and, and did they survive have, oh, the crime fire? you're asking me whether you guys are the bunkers. Yeah. You mean you, you, or they. them? Um, I mean, have you, seen the, have you seen the last season? Yes. Well, then you know, right? But we don't know nothing about well, the bunker. Well, I know, bunker. but that's what you know, right? Yeah, it was the trick question. So you know that you actually know nothing, right? She's dead, man. She's not in the show anymore. Okay. I'm not in the show. They killed me. She doesn't know I'm nothing. Dead. Okay, you don't know. <laughs> we don't know. We don't know. We'll find, we'll find. This guy is mean and rude. <laughs> Sorry. Security! Okay. okay. Take him away! <laughs> I want him to get out! W one quick question. Uh, were there actually anybody that Luna liked? Can you say that again? I'm so sorry. Now I'm being. Is rude. there anybody that Luna liked? Yes. Oh, um. I think it's the same answer that. that the, no, it's not. No, it's no. not? Okay. No. Um, you mean who's my favorite character? I think so. No, I mean, sh I yeah, was, okay. okay. No, you kind of right, but I, I was saying that Murphy is my favorite character, right. Nadia. But for Luna, um, Murphy. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, let me think. I actually don't. I didn't like anyone. I started liking Raven at the end. I did, and um, poor guy. Um. Raven and Murphy. What a shocker. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> Next one, please. If your character would re reappear in the show, in which, with which character you want to spend more time on the set? Uh, Murphy and Raven. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry, guys. Oh, yeah, no, Murphy and Raven. <laughs> yeah. Następne, proszę. Hello, Nadia. What personality trait uh, do you value most uh, in Luna? In Luna, um, I love that she has so much integrity. Like she says something and she means it. She's very loyal and she doesn't give up. She always fights and, and, and she always, she used to believe in the good and, um, and then also tolerance, you know, when you just toler tolerate people and you're, you're nice. Like, I love when people in life, when they're, you are not like me, but that's okay. And I tolerate you being you and you tolerate me being me as long as we don't hurt each other. I think that's a beautiful trait. Thank you. Um, so Thank you. Now I have a problem because that was exactly my question. That was your question? Yeah, but um, I'll think of something quickly. I mean, why don't you just go back in the line, <laughs> come up with something yeah, else? I wasn't here at all, and the question we wasn't here We didn't see you. All. Okay. Um, well, I'm a big uh, fan of the series. I think it's really cool how it talks about um, surviving and everything that co goes on, the extremes that you can go through uh, when you try to give your people the safety that they need. Yeah. And my question is, what was the coolest thing you, could, you did on set? As Luna or Nadia? Well, I guess both, because you're both people. <laughs> okay. You're the same person. Well, no, that's the thing, we're not. Like, Nadia is not Luna. That's not true. Um, I mean, I'm not a badass warrior that could kill a lot of people, and I did not kill, I didn't have to kill my brother. I, you know, like, that's what I mean, like, Nadia is not Luna. Um, that was a character I played, and I kind of put myself in, under those circumstances, believing that I had to kill my brother, that I'm a warrior, but that's not who I am. But I think the, the funniest, like, the best thing I had to do on set was, in terms of acting, I love the fight scenes, Luna's fight scenes in season four. Um, and just being on set with the crowd, like the people are so funny and we just have so much fun and yeah, yeah. Thank you. Następne pytanie, proszę. Ja mam pytanie, czy widziałaś kogoś w związku na dłużej z Luną oprócz Marfiego? Jeszcze raz mogę prosić głośniej? Czy widziałaś kogoś w związku z Luną na dłużej? Oprócz Marfiego. 
did you see in your mind anybody else who could be in a relationship with Luna except Marty? Except Murphy? Yeah. Well, Raven. <laughs> I mean, Raven, obviously. Um, I think Clark, in a couple years, when she made up her mind and... Be I mean, Clark is trying, you know? She's not a bad person. She's trying and she has so much, like, pressure on her shoulders. Um, um, I mean, I, I think Luna's a loner. I think she doesn't want to be with people, except with her boyfriend, but they killed him, so. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, do you think Lexa deserved better? Lexa is my what? Do you think Lexa deserved better? Um, oh, that's a tricky question. I mean, yes, of course, I think everybody deserves better, and I think everybody, um, I mean, that's, I think that's the difficult and dangerous thing with TV shows in terms of, are we talking about Alicia? Are we talking about okay. Lexa in character? Or are we talking about Lexa, the character the fans love? You know, I mean, of course, I say, I wish for all of you guys out there who love Lexa so much that she wouldn't have died because I think that cost you a lot of pain. And I think I would, I, 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 wish nobody, you know, had to suffer from that. As a character, I mean, it's so hard because it's not our story to tell. It's, you know, the, the writers in the room who decide. Um, I think her death could have been more glorious, you know? Yes, I think, um, yes, but um, that's unfortunately television. And um, so, no, yes, I think she, Deserve better. I think you guys shouldn't have suffered, and yeah. Okay, this is the last question. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. But you're here tomorrow. Hi. Oh yeah, that's true. That's true. That's true. My question is: We already established that you love Murphy and Raven, yeah. but if Luna would come back, yeah, who do you think she'd kill first? She'd kill? Yeah. Isaiah. <laughs> Why? He's. I mean, I just said his real name. That, that was maybe not appropriate. <laughs> his character, of course. I just don't think he's a good human being. I think he's flaky and mean and not a good person. Poor guy. Yep. Okay, that's it for us. I'm going to answer all your questions tomorrow, I promise. Okay, okay. I'm so sorry. Dziękujemy wam bardzo. Dziękujemy serdecznie. Thank you so much for coming. And I'm gonna, like, everyone in the hundreds said to tell me, to tell you that they love you and they're so happy that Poland likes the hundred. So a big hello and hug from everyone else. And thank you guys for your support. Thank you. We love you so much. Nadia, one question. Yeah. Do you know any word in Polish? Some words in Polish or not? Well, na zdrowie, but that's <laughs> like... <laughs> It's a bad word, huh? No, it's a good word. Oh, what's, what's love? Love? Yeah. Miłość. 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 Yes! Nice. Yes! <laughs> we'll practice today and tomorrow yes, there'll be some more words. Yes, thank, thank you so Thank you so much. Thank you. Nadia Hilker. Będziecie mogli spotkać Nadię w strefie autografów, w strefie foto.